Hey you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I will be sharing my summer homeschooling plans that I have for our summer and I'm so excited, you guys. So if any of you are new here to my channel, again, I'm Brittany. I'm a homeschooling mom to three girls who will be entering in the sixth kindergarten and pre-K this upcoming homeschool year. So you guys, it is official. We have completed our third year of homeschool and I'm so excited. You guys, like I was so exhausted at the end. Like I was done and um if it wasn't for my oldest daughter like pushing me with her i don't know if we would have made it um we finished all of my kin my pre-kers curriculum pretty early so it was really just brielle's curriculum that we was wrapping up towards the end of our homeschooling year and i'm so happy we was able to really wrap everything up um i can't wait to come to you guys with our end of the year reflections um i love making that video for you guys um as always but you guys won't see that video until next week because as you guys are watching this uh, video, we actually have kickstarted our summer with our first summer vacation and I'm so excited. So as you guys are watching this, I will be on a boat headed to Bahamas with my kiddos. We're going to be going to the beach and we really um, are going to have fun uh, really celebrating the end of our homeschooling year with a full on vacation. We've been planning this vacation, you guys, since January. So I'm really, really excited that we actually are able to go on a family vacation. We haven't went on a family vacation you guys in over three years so I'm really happy that you know we finally are able to like get out there things have opened up and we do feel safe to travel at this point with uh, my younger kiddos um, so I'm really really excited that that is how we are kickstarting off our summer um, as far as like our summer homeschooling plans you guys um, I keep it pretty simple because we are year-round homeschoolers here we are going to start back our homeschooling year on July the 17th so we really only have about what like six to eight weeks of actual summer. So uh, while I like to keep the kiddos in the same like format and structure uh, because we are year round homeschoolers, um, we are very laid back in the summer. I really just focus on like two cores and with all of my kiddos and I like to do a lot of like reading, catching up on a lot of books and really just having fun outside you guys, uh, going swimming, doing all the things. Um, so that's pretty much what we do during the summer. Um, since we are kickstarting our year with a vacation, Vacation. We don't have any other vacations planned this summer. Um, so we will just be uh, spending the rest of our summer like at home. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much all we're going to do uh, at the end of our summer. Um, I don't really have big plans to go like to the zoo and the aquarium and to the botanical gardens like I did our last year's. Because when we went during the summer, you guys, it was so busy and crowded. So I definitely don't want to do as many things in a city. I think I'm going to save like all of our field trips and things towards the fall when all the kids are back in school but I am going to utilize my library and get our free tickets because every year the library gives us like free zoo tickets some years they give free aquarium tickets and things like that so we are going to go ahead and make sure we get the free tickets we're just not going to use them until like September when all the stuff is like cleared out so um yeah that is like my summer plans we really are just going to have like a summer at home chill a lot of reading and things like that so let me stop rambling I'm going to show you some of the books we have here that we're going to read but we will be utilizing our library because my uh, oldest daughter devours books over the summer especially since she has more time to really read so our family read aloud we're going to be reading is the lemonade war series we're going to finish the last two books of the lemonade war which is uh, the lemonade crime and the bell bandit you guys this book was so cute about two uh bro a brother and sister who both started lemonade stands and you guys they were like fighting to the end <laughs> <laughs> to see who was going to win that lemonade war and um it really was a cute summer story um the kiddos the setting of the story was right before them starting off school and my daughter loves reading summer books in the summer so I'm really excited for us to read the last or read the next two books because I think it's five books in total in this series. So um, this is what me and my oldest are going to read. If my younger two want to, you know, uh, come in and listen, they will. But, you know, they're kind of like off doing their own thing when we do our read aloud. So this is our family read alouds that we're going to be doing. As far as like some of the picture books that I'm going to read to my younger two, I have Jabari Jumps, which is such a cute picture book. I hope they love these this year. I have a uh, Cannonball and then I also 
also have under the mango tree are some of the summer picture books that I have from my shelf but I definitely will be checking out more picture books for my younger two at the library. Now Brie we picked out three uh, chapter books that she had on her shelf for her to get started with her summer but you guys last summer I think Brielle read like 15 chapter books so this is not going to be all the chapter books I'm going to share with you guys but I'm just going to start off with the first three she wants to read and start in her summer which is the first rule of punk she's also going to read fast pitch we started this one last summer but we didn't finish it so she's going to read this one on her own and then i have onikia and the academy of the sun this is actually a cute fantasy story you guys about a young girl who actually has telekinesis power through her hair and it's kind of like a spider-man story because she gains it uh in uh she gains it uh pretty much by falling into a lake i don't want to tell you guys too much about it but uh brielle is really really excited about reading this she actually got into fantasy uh last summer when she uh, just happened to pick up a book from our library so i'm happy that brielle is kind of like getting into a uh, different Different types of genres when it comes to her chapter books so I will come back to you guys and let you know what Brielle thinks about this one so those are the three books that Brielle's going to start off with her summer and then some of the summer picture books I have for my kiddos now for all of the kiddos they will be doing math this summer you guys I never stop my math curriculum um that's just a way that I kind of keep all of my kids on par and it is nothing like that summer slide when it comes to like math um and I definitely don't want to fill it <laughs> so we will be continuing math so when we come back from our trip I will kind of like ease my kiddos into our summer homeschooling routine um so the math that all of my kiddos do is for my youngest one we're going to start preschool math at home you guys this is such a cute uh, little math curriculum these little preschool um, math uh, lessons take about like two to three minutes and my youngest one will be done as far as my middle daughter Leia she actually does two math curriculums we are actually working on a uh, kindergarten math with confidence and uh, math UC primer she loves both of these together these take us 20 minutes to do both of these lessons for her as far as Brielle, my oldest daughter, she is going to be starting math. You see Zeta. You guys, we finished Epsilon. We absolutely loved it. I'm really happy that I started her on math. You see series at the point that I did to really slow down and have her hone in and master those mathematic skills, especially since this is the last level before my daughter gets into pre-algebra. And I definitely want to make sure she has honed in on all those skills before we really make that next jump into like upper mathematics. So um, she's going to be doing Matthew C. Zeta over the summer. We're just going to do like one lesson a week and take our time. And when our school year starts, then I will add our supplemental math, which is Oak Meadows uh, Math 6, along with this one when we start our school year. As far as my younger kiddos, we will continue working on just uh, basic phonics instruction with them. I don't want to start our formal phonics curriculum with them until we actually start off our homeschooling year. Um, so we will just be using Elemental Phonics by JDA. These are just simple blend ladders that I, you work on with the kiddos and simple CVC words in here and these little lessons you guys they literally take like anywhere between like five and six minutes uh, we review the letter sounds at the beginning of the book and when they have mastered like the blend ladder then they get like a little sticker so this is the part where we'll just review like the letter sounds I definitely don't want my kiddos to forget any of the blends and the CBC words that we've been working on so that's definitely a fun way that I'm just going to continue to teach them finest instructions and keep it really really light so my younger kiddos uh, I'm probably really only going to be working with them for about like 25 minutes at the max with them as far as brielle she probably be working on her math for about maybe 45 minutes and then um she also is going to be doing a creative writing class you guys throughout school so i have her uh, my story journal this actually is from um chanel from intentional homeschool she actually uh, gave this freebie out last year and it's just like a storyboard that helps brielle map out like all of her creative writing brielle did so much creative writing you guys this homeschooling year and i can't wait to like recap you guys on like all of like the things that she's written and she you guys it's like really mind-blowing like all the stuff that she's written and I really have enjoyed listening to like all of her creative writing stories so I'm happy she's going to be taking a class from out school and to kind of like get some type of like feedback when it comes to her creative writing outside of me and um it's just a simple I think this one is a six-week course that I signed her up with one uh, day out the week and um hopefully she enjoys it so I just have her little uh, my storybook so she can map out her uh, creative writing stories when she is doing her out school class 
Now, as far as Brielle uh, goes as well, just for her, we will be doing one science unit, which is core knowledge human hormones and reproduction unit. You guys, like I was sleeping on core knowledge. Core knowledge is such a great science curriculum. We did two of the core knowledge units um, towards the end of our uh, homeschooling year this year. And you guys, like I was really mind blown how uh, great the science is. Um, I was a little bit intimidated by like the parent and structures guide, but once I got used to it, um, I was just like mind blown. Like why haven't I tried core knowledge earlier? So we will be doing the core knowledge human hormones and reproduction unit. I also have the uh, good and a beautiful's maturation unit as well so i'm probably just going to be combining like all of these resources as well and then i have this main book that we're going to be using which is it's so amazing you guys, I'm so sorry. My kiddos are downstairs right now while I'm filming this video, if you hear them. Now, as far as Brielle, she actually wanted to do one more thing which, with me, which was uh, Rod and Staff's Build an English series, uh, grade six. We actually did this this upcoming homeschool year and we got about three fourths of the way through it. So we finished off our homeschooling year on lesson 72 of 124. So Brielle loves English, you guys. Like she told me uh, this year, she wants to be an English professor and an author. And <laughs> I thought that was so sweet that um, she really narrowed it down to what she wanted to do. And she loves English so much. And she's begged me to do this over the summer. Um, I really was trying to keep her summer light and just have her do like creative writing, reading and math. But she begged me to do writing staff. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and let her do these grammar lessons. They take us about 20 minutes to do because we do a lot of these orally. And then I give her like a simple test at the end of each of these chapters. So um, you guys, I think I'm going to let her take the lead on this and we will do Rod and Staff English this homeschooling year because she loves it so much um, over the summer. So you guys, these are like my summer homeschooling plans. They're like so simple. We're really going to keep it simple, especially since we are year round homeschoolers. We will be kickstarting like our homeschooling year really, really soon. So our summer is short, but I still want it to be full. I want it to be fun and I kind of want to, you know, have a little mix of both. Um, I don't want that summer slide. <laughs> I want to keep those brains going. Uh, but I do still want us to feel like we are on a break. So you guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys in my um, end of the year recap where I will be recapping my homeschooling year next week. Um, we still do have testing to do um, as far as Brielle goes. So I will be um, recapping you guys and letting you know like how our standardized testing uh, went this year as well. So you guys, as always, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.